If you find yourself in your vehicle, in the water, you've had a crash and now you're in a body of water, you need to remain calm but get out of your vehicle as quickly as possible. Safety experts say the first thing you should do is unfasten your seatbelt. Uh, unbuckle it if it, the device still works. If not, um, you need to cut your weight free. There are some devices available for sale to help people get free of their cars, uh, break their way to freedom through glass, should they find themselves in a car that's going down in a body of water. This is a device called Exit Tool. It's designed to break out glass and to cut someone free of a seat belt. This device fits on a safety belt. You put it on your safety belt and it just stays there. This is another tool designed to help people get out of a sinking car. Here is the, the, the point that you use to break your way through a window. Again, point it to uh, a spot forward on the window and pound on the window and that should shatter the glass or, or crumble the, the glass. Um, at the bottom is a knife. Uh, extend that and that is what you use to, uh, to cut your safety belt. This is another device designed to help people uh, get out of their vehicles. It's manufactured by a company called Rescue Me. Um, I've attached it to the visor of my car. I know it's there always. Um, and so what I simply do is snap it off. There is the knife that cuts through the safety belt. This is a spring-loaded device that breaks um, the pane of glass. You push it on your window, depress it, it's spring-loaded and doing will break the window. The second thing you need to do is get a window open. Your car is likely to sink and it's stunning how quickly that can happen. Um, water will be pushing against the exterior of the car and that will make it virtually impossible for you to open a door. So don't try to open a door. If you're not able to break out a window and you can't get the doors open because of the water pressure, uh, safety experts say climb into the rear of the vehicle, brace yourself against the back seat, put your feet on the back window and push. Try to push out that piece of glass, break the seal uh, and use that as your means of escape. These drownings inside vehicles, they do happen, but they're not that common. They only account for about 2% of all auto fatality deaths in Florida. So it's rare, but it might happen, and it's just smart to be prepared. For the Orlando Sentinel, I'm Renee Stutzman.